Michael Tiny Saul. Today is Tuesday, April 5th, 2011 at 8.58 at night. This video is further management of the stock watch list for the week of April 4th, 2011. Couple of stocks to add on, couple to take off. Feel free to contact me at tinymjs at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel and you can view my blog here. Please give me the thumbs up on this and any video you like and please leave comments. I don't care if you want to give me constructive criticism, you want to put in what you'd rather see, or you'd rather me get a new accent, which I've been told, I can't help that. Uh, just leave the comments, okay? And if you're embarrassed to leave it in a public forum, then please email me, okay? Now, before we start with the list, I just want to look at a couple of stocks that we looked at last week that we're not uh, following anymore, but... I, f I wound up finding it because I remembered I put all this info on the Cree chart, so I figured it was easy to just pull up Cree. Uh, this stock we watched last week, it never reversed at the 20 EMA, but you could see the nice gap down on Tuesday would have got us, if we were short, would have traded into uh, the target. And then MetaFast, you know, I, I don't think I dropped the ball on this one because I really didn't like the size of this reversal candle, but you could see, even though we gapped down on Friday, could have uh, used an intraday type pattern to get short. And then this was a really, really nice trade, right? Let's look at the five-minute chart of that one and go back to Friday. And we can see, just for abuse purposes, right? I'm just abusing myself by doing this, but that's okay. Hey, somebody's got to do it, right? So what was Friday? Friday was, okay, today's the 5th. Monday was the 4th. So Friday was the second, right? No. Okay, it was the first. All right, so there's the gap down. And then we bracket the, the 10 o'clock. Right, this was the low before 10. And this was the high before 10, right? And what happened? We, whoops, moving this down. We broke that right about here. We did retrace. But we never went above the, the 10 a.m. bracket, and then we just rolled on over. And then, of course, um, you could see what happened next Monday and then today. So, you know, that's an example of a stock that I stopped managing. I, I don't have regrets with it, all right? I still don't like this candle as a reversal signal. But, uh, you know, better analysis next time, right? I don't consider it luck. I consider this analysis. And... Sometimes you make a judgment call, and my opinion is I have to have real strong reasons to stick around in a pattern or in a setup because there's so many stocks out there that, you know, why get pigeonholed into just looking, uh, you know, just really looking at, at a couple and just saying, no, this is the one I, I got to take. But whatever, I've, I'm off on a little th tangent here for three minutes, but... Uh, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say, and uh, let's get into the the charts here. All right, the first one is RIM. RIM had an inside day, right? Uh, close to an inside. No, a little bit uh, outside. Well, it's technically not outside because it didn't go out the front. A little bit below the lows from Monday, but uh, not much. Still should be in a piece of this one. Stops are at break even. Uh, nothing more to add on that one. CPLA got to its 20 EMA, and once again, this looks like MED. I mean, it looks like a smaller MED, but this is a reversal candle, and this range is pretty big comparatively to some of these bars, but like not to this uh, this hammer over here. So we're going to watch this one, and this one is going to be actionable on Wednesday. Okay, the entry would be Tuesday's low. The stop would be above Tuesday's high. So this is a, a pretty large price stop. But remember, it's all the same when it comes to share size. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a half half size on this one. So this is a half size. So uh, this would only count as, if it were to stop out, it would only count as a half unit of a loss. Okay, so that's CPLA, AMN. Okay, AMN was not actionable, even though, oh, well, it closed. No, no, it only closed a little bit below the low anyway, but this was not actionable. Okay, I, I was clear on that. It was still not actionable. We're going to see what's uh, going on over uh, the next few sessions, I believe, before we get involved with that. APC. Okay, APC 
still trying to work out its pattern here. Okay, ANR. All right, ANR more than likely stopped out if it didn't stop out on Monday. So we will be removing ANR. Sorry about that. Okay, remove symbol flag. Okay, ANR is gone. UDRL still forming its uh, pattern here, but nothing new there. NCR triggered. Okay. NCR triggered above 1903, so it went to 1904. Only went uh, 10 cents, right? 1904 trigger, only went 10 cents. And it closed a couple of cents down. I would keep a tight leash on this one, okay? I want to see this above Tuesday, so I'm going to write it out, okay? I want to be above Tuesday's highs by 10.30 or else it's a time stop okay and of course if it gaps down big or it uh trades lower right you have to use a crash stop also but the, that stop would be below monday's low okay so it's not even that much risk you're looking at a, a 1904 um entry with an 1874 risk so you have a 30 cent risk on this one all right so if it's not above tuesday's highs by 10 30 uh, or it hasn't stopped out already then it's a, a take me out Okay, it's just a time stop on this one. All right, UIS. UIS still kind of hanging around. It's got a nice little coil here. So this one could be ready for its next move down. Trail stops aggressively. If it does, the ultimate target is this 200-day moving average, which would be nice. Already out. Piece of that should be a big piece. Fossil. Okay, Fossil is just sitting here consolidating three dojis in a row i am taking fossil off the list it did not trigger and now i am taking it off the list so fossil is gone all right let's look at merc okay merc went a little bit higher uh breached 15 stop should be very very aggressive here on the remaining piece of this one uh, i would put it below tuesday's lows it would be a nice stop out on that one uh, if profits weren't taken on the break of 15. okay i don't know if, if they are or not i mean i you know it doesn't look like a, a spot to me you know in hindsight oh we should have took it off of over 15 but no you know the stock has some momentum to the upside just continue to trail stops here okay continue to trail stops up on this one on whatever's remaining Okay, AZO, AutoZone triggered on um, Tuesday, but looks like very close to stopping out, break even. I, I, look, the stock went, let's see, 276.05, it went almost $4. Now, I don't know if profits were secured because the stop was pretty big, right? We used 276.06 uh, as the stop, I'm sorry, as the entry, and then 272.54 as the stop. So I don't know, you know, to me, when your reward equals the risk, I'm all for taking half off and then moving stops to break even. If so, you're in by a hair, you're out half and in by a hair. But if not, just keep stops very aggressively. I mean, almost a $4 move, I, I don't like I always say, I don't know what you're waiting for, especially um, unless the risk, unless you're trading something with such a huge range and you have to do a 10 or $15 risk, like a Google or something, right, when it has these big expansive ranges. I mean, you're risking 350. It goes more than that. I, I don't know, you know, what you're waiting for. So that's just my opinion. All right. Let's look at a couple of new ones. One of them's an oldie but a goodie. It's FFIV. And no, I am not trying to get revenge because I missed this big day. Uh, I think that this stock is set up for lower prices. I like it below Tuesday's lows with a stop above Tuesday's high. So this is. A pretty volatile stock. Hold on one second. Okay, I don't want to waste the time putting the indicator in and waiting for it to loan everything. So this has a 14 period average true range of $4.36. And this little candle here, okay, this little candle is only a dollar forty-four wide. So uh to me. That's, uh, let's see, it's two and a half maybe, uh, no, almost three times, right? Yeah, it's about, it's about a third of the average true range here, 
okay so that's compressed and I'm gonna be watching this very carefully and once again the trigger would be a break of the low with a stop above the high all right and uh, the first target would be twice the risk and the size would be half size so okay and the first target first target is two times risk so what that means okay I don't know if I could target is two times risk so what that means is even though it's half size your first target would be equal to a full size gain all right now once again if this goes 60 70 cents even even though it's not close to the first target trail stops trail stops trail stops okay nothing nothing says that it has to go to the target before your trail stops trail stops trail stops trail stops i'm looking for a break of these lows here all right let's see if uh it can do that and finally i have vq now v vq is kind of a uh, weird play here the, the the way i'm looking at this at this stock is this to me looks like it could be what's known as like a hard bottom or a, a small base here and I'm looking for this to punch up to the 200 day moving average now usually I would just avoid this because ah, oh, it's under the 200 day wait for it to get to the 200 day but the way it's oscillating on the 20 tells me that this could have some good risk reward to it so the, the entry would be 1721 the risk could be to 1687 so you're looking at uh, 13 and 21 you're looking at 34 cents okay 34 cents for a potential 80 80 plus cent gain well yeah a little bit a 79 cent gain all right so you're getting better than two to one on this one and on a, a play like this once it went up 30 40 cents 25 cents e even i would just move stops to break even and let it ride okay so that's it i'm going to do another video going over the uh, forex analysis that i did on uh, sunday night for this week and we're going to look at some pairs and crosses and see if anything's setting up that will be in the next video have a great trading day on wednesday